Hey everyone welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Thanks for subscribing and liking my video. Today we are going to create this. You can download the project file and play with the setting. Let's start the tutorial. Open After Effects. Make new composition full HD 1080p. Type your logo font that you want to animate. I am typing, motion. I am using Tibera Black Tegular font. You can download the project file to get access of this font and other files that we are going to use in this tutorial. Now let's convert this font into shape layer. Right click on the layer and choose create. Create shapes from text. Delete the original font we don't need this anymore. We need to separate all groups on its individual layers. I am using a script to separate the groups. ZI explode shape layer. And we are done for separating the groups. Let me quickly rename the layers. Cool. Let's adjust the anchor point of each layer. To the left bottom corner with the help of pan behind tool let me double check every layer's anchor point since it's very important Let me solo the letter M and start animating this. Open scale and rotation properties. Short key is SNR make keyframe for both properties. Go 10 frame forward and make the same keyframe. Come to the beginning of animation and adjust the starting keyframe. Set rotation to minus 185 degree. Set scale to 0%. Offset rotations keyframe by one frame to the scale. Hit F9 to make easy ease. Open graph editor and adjust the speed graph. Something like this, so the animation will start faster and go slower at the ending. At this point let me adjust composition blur setting. Press Ctrl plus K go to advanced. Make sure your shutter angle set to 500 and shutter phase to 90 degree. Hit OK to accept the changes. Now the blur look more realistic. Cool. It looks good to me. Let's copy the scale and rotation keyframes. Select remaining layers. Hit Ctrl plus V. Cool. Let's offset layers by one frame to the each layer. Cool. Let's make a new composition and call this text color copy. Drag the text composition into this comp. And duplicate the text comp for 4 times.
apply to fill effect to the second composition. And copy the effect and paste on the other compositions. Let's adjust the color of each copy. Cool. Let offset one frame of each comp. Turn on the motion blur. It looks good to me. Now pre-compose one more time and call this final text. Make another composition and call this final animation. Drag final text composition into final animation comp. Trim the composition around 2 seconds and duplicate it. Right click on the duplicate comp and go to time. And time reverse layer. Cool. Adjust the placement and take a ramp preview. Make a background solid. Adjust something look darker. Cool. Let's pre-compose for the final animation and call this text in and out. Duplicate this pre-comp and make it 3D. I will call this text in and out reflection. Open the rotation properties by hitting the letter R move it down a bit and set the X rotation value to 103. Cool. Now drag the texture layer into final animation composition. Apply compound blur to the reflection layer. Make some adjustments. Set the blur layer to the texture that we drag in this composition. Increase the maximum blur to 150%. It looks good to me. Now add some glow. Make a new adjustment layer at the top of all layers. I will call this glow. And apply the glow effect on this. Make some adjustments. Set the glow radius to 5. And glow intensity to 0.5. If you want more glow you can duplicate the glow effect and play with the settings. but I am happy with this setting. Check the animation.
Now we need to fix the top edges that happened because of the compound blur. Duplicate the BG layer and make a mask like this. Open the mask properties and click on invert. And we are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like please hit the like button and consider subscribe. So I can continue making videos like this. Until next time have fun and keep growing.